Hi everyone, it's Stacy from Seattle Seedling, and today I want to share with you one of my favorite ways to cook kale these days, blanching it in salt water. It comes out uh, really tender, a nice vibrant color green, and really flavorful from that salt water. And then I'm going to show you how easy it is to poach an egg in that same um, salt water, and you'll end up with a delicious breakfast or lunch and dinner if you're like me and you can eat breakfast for every meal. So let me show you how easy it is to get this started. I've got some water back here that I'm gonna get simmering. And I got some kale that I just harvested from the garden that I'm gonna start preparing. So the first thing I'm gonna do is de-rib this kale. So usually I get it started at the very bottom and then I put my hands around that rib and I just gently pull the leaves off that stem so I end up with just the leaves. Once I get all the ribs removed from the kale, I like to give it a nice pop or two just so that the kale will end up in more bite-sized pieces. Now this water is just about to simmer and I'm gonna add some sea salt uh, to this water and I'm gonna add a pretty generous amount. The point is to impart a lot of flavor into the kale from that salt water, just sort of like you would salt water for pasta. We're gonna kind of do the same thing with the vegetables and it really, really adds a lot of flavor to the kale. So I'm gonna add a pretty generous amount of salt to the water. And now I'm gonna add the kale. And you can tell that it immediately starts turning from this dark gray color to really vibrant green. And after a few minutes, I'll just take a piece out in order to taste it. And I stop cooking it when it feels like it tastes good to me, when it's tender and um, tastes flavorful. All right, I'm gonna call this good. So I'm gonna scoop the kale out of here using a slotted spoon. Because like I said, I wanna use this water <clears throat> to poach my eggs now. Now I'm going to prepare myself for poaching the eggs. So to this salt water, I'm gonna add a splash of vinegar and I've put my eggs into individual cups that I can use to get really close to the water. And I try to do this um, as close to the same time as possible. So usually one behind, oh, you can't really see that, huh? One back here and one in, towards the front. So I'm just gonna slip that egg in there and slip one in the front. And I get that cup right near the water. Set the timer for three minutes, and this will be the perfect over medium poached egg. Now while these eggs are poaching, I always take a spoonful of water or two and put it over the yolk just to make sure that top part of the egg is getting um, cooked. You can also put a lid over this to ensure that every, all the whites are getting cooked through, um, but I find that that tends to get the water boiling too quickly and cooks more of the egg yolk than I like. So I like to leave it uncovered and just give it a few splashes over the top with a spoonful of water. Now with the kale, um, once I take it out of the water, I like to give it a little splash with olive oil and maybe add some um, fresh ground pepper. Alternatively, I've heated up a little bit of olive oil in a pan, added some fresh garlic, um, got that garlic uh, nice and fragrant and then tossed the kale in that goodness with a little bit of red pepper and it is delicious. So I highly recommend that. Today I'm just going uh, all natural, super simple. I just put that kale that I transferred from the pan right into my plate and it's going to be a nest for these eggs. Okay, so the timer went off. So now I'm going to use my slotted spoon and I like to get another spoon or fork to sort of ease it in there and you need to be really careful so you don't break that yolk. I like to just lift it enough off the pan so that some of that water is dripping off 
and then I'm going to put it onto my plate. I'm trying to get some of that water off the top. So that's what I have for you today, friends. I hope you'll check out my blog at seattleseedling.com. You can follow me on Facebook at facebook.com slash seattleseedling and on Twitter at seattleseedling. And you can subscribe to my YouTube channel for all the latest videos with tips on how to make your garden grow. So I hope you'll tune in next Monday, friends. Have a great week.